with the best. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to BTW 21 News. This is the Tuesday edition. We hope that you have been able to enjoy your week so far. A lot that we have to get to. We're going to be covering both news in Henry County and Franklin County. We're going to start off in Henry County, where the Henry County Sheriff's Office continues their effort into looking for Kenneth Wade Turner, as we have been covering all weekend. Weekend, he is an elderly man that is missing and trying to bring him home because he is insolence and dependent is crucial for authorities. A search for 79-year-old Kenneth Wade Turner who went missing from his residence on Massey Drive has entered its fourth day as of Tuesday. Turner, last seen wearing navy blue sweatpants on Friday evening, was reported missing on Saturday. Unfortunately, at this point, we've not found any evidence to indicate where he may be at at this time. So again, we're still asking the community if they've seen anything and walking on the roadways or anything, to please reach out to us and give us a call. Henry County Sheriff Wayne Davis emphasized that Turner has some medical conditions, including being incident dependent, heightening concerns for his well-being. On day four of the search, crews convened once again at the funeral home near Bassett High School to resume their efforts. So we started at his residence and we've pretty thoroughly searched about 800 meter radius, which is about a half a mile roughly. And so we're hoping to take that out to about 1900 meters, which would be just in excess of a mile. And our goal is to see the vast majority of that. Um, we feel comfortable that, you know, if he did walk away, that's a pretty good distance from his house. So we would, we would hope to find him within that radius somewhere. The Henry County Sheriff's Office dive team also took their efforts to a private pond off of Riverside Drive on Tuesday. Sheriff Davis noted that tips from the community prompted an expansion of the search radius into the field area. We received a number of tips that put him down in the area of Field and Patrick Avenue on Saturday afternoon. We don't know how valid those tips are uh, as each one of them just essentially said, hey, we saw someone fitting his description. No one has positively identified him as being in that area. So we did move the search outside the radius down to that specific area and are looking down there as well. While the community support is appreciated, Davis urged against self-deployment in the search efforts, emphasizing the importance of leaving the operation to trained personnel. We'll know a little better today. We'll look at the search grids and the radiuses of what we've covered thus far by this afternoon. And if there's anything left that's viable to search, we'll certainly take a look at that. Um, but the investigative efforts to find Mr. Turner and bring him back won't cease. We may have to reduce and scale back the amount of personnel we're using, but we'll continue the operation at one level or another until we have an answer about Mr. Turner's whereabouts. At Henry County, Luis Romero, BTW 21. Continuing to talk about news again in our area, we're going to move to Franklin County now, where the Franklin County Department of Public Safety posted on their Facebook post some information in regards to a vehicle that appears to have veered off the roadway and crashed into a home. On Sunday, emergency units from the Burnt Chimney Volunteer Fire Department and Franklin County Department of Public Safety sprung into action in response to a vehicle crash in the 6900 block of Edwardsville Road in Hardy. Initial reports stated that a vehicle veered off the road and crashed into an occupied home. Upon arrival, emergency personnel found the vehicle lodged against the home, prompting immediate concern for the occupants. Fortunately, the drivers obtained only minor injuries and the residents of the home narrowly escaped harm. With the situation under control, the authorities say that they called upon the Franklin County Special Operations Team to st stabilize the structure, ensuring the safety of all involved. Once the home was secured, the fire marshal and building inspector were able to assess the extent of the damage without further risk. Again, folks, we're going to continue to talk about news in Franklin County, this time for a fire that happened on this Tuesday morning. We understand that, unfortunately, two pets were lost in that blaze. Tuesday around 11 a.m., fire departments from Rocky Mount, Ferrum, and Callaway, along with the Franklin County Department of Public Safety, were called to the house fire on Ronnie's Lane. Upon arrival, personnel were met with flames engulfing a one-story dwelling. Responding crews initiated a coordinated attack on the fire while conducting a search of the home for occupants. 
Thankfully, the search confirmed that there were no occupants inside the home at the time of the fire. However, responders discovered the unfortunate loss of two feline companions who perished in the blaze. The cause and origin of the fire remain under investigation by the Franklin County Fire Marshal's Office as authorities work to determine the circumstances surrounding this incident. Folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break. There's more news, including weather, after these messages from our sponsors. At Sova Family Medicine Martinsville, our providers, along with their compassionate team, are ready to provide your entire family, ages 2 and older, with preventative and sick care. There are many services provided, such as hypertension, acute illnesses and injuries, annual, school, and sport physicals, diabetes, and chronic medical conditions, and so much more. We are now accepting new patients. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sova Family Medicine of Martinsville is located at 110 Commonwealth Boulevard, West Martinsville, Virginia. You can call at 276-666-7328 or visit soberphysicians.com slash primary care for more information. New College Institute is offering fiber optic technician courses to give you the proper skills to launch a career in fiber optic design and installation. No prerequisites or experience required. Become 100% certified as a fiber optic technician through our FOA training programs. Average starting salary tops over $60,000 a year. Don't hesitate. Go online for details and register for classes. New College Institute. Opportunity. Growth. Success. You're watching BTW 21 News. We thank you for your continued company. Let's turn, turn it over now to Grace Webster to take a look at your local weather forecast. Of course, again, we are seeing some summer-like temperatures this week, it looks like. Welcome back, everybody, to BTW 21 Weather. I'm your weather forecaster, Grace Webster, and today's forecast is brought to you by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. If we look at things today at 5 p.m., you'll see that we're sitting at 78 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Looking a little bit further into things at 8 p.m., we're going to be dropping to 72 degrees with still partly cloudy skies out. Cloudy skies all throughout today and into the rest of the week, actually. 11 p.m., we'll be dropping down to 65 degrees and sunset tonight will be at 755. Let's go ahead and take a look at our hometown forecast together. As you can see, our percentage of rain drops down to a less than a 1% chance of rain and wind goes to a whopping 7 miles per hour. So those warmer temperatures and uh, wind go hand in hand. So the wind temperature is keeping us warm and the uh, wind is going to be keeping us nice and cool. Uh, here in Martinsville, we'll be si uh, sitting at 78. Uh, Rocky Mount sitting in the higher to mid 70s and Stewart right neck and neck with us at 78. Partly cloudy skies all across the area. Let's take a look at our overnight forecast for Tuesday. Uh, chances of rain jump up to 15%, but still a very slim chance of that. Uh, wind calms down to 3 miles per hour, and 65 degrees is what we drop down to here in Martinsville. Same in our, with our friends in Rocky Mount and also in Stewart. Like I said before, cloudy night skies here in Martinsville and across the area. Let's go ahead and take a look at my ratings for Wednesday. We love a good hump day and we are excited for our uh, Miss Llama Laura and Rancher Rick to join us tomorrow for our show, so make sure you tune in for that. Our high for tomorrow is 85 and a low of 58. Cloudy skies tomorrow and uh, chances of rain at 13%. Wind will be at 10 miles per hour and our sunrise at 643. An overall rating from me is at 8 out of 10. All right, let's go ahead and take a, a look at our three day week. Tuesday and Wednesday is just a recap for you. Our high for today is 79 with partly cloudy skies and a low tonight of 59. Wednesday we will have partly cloudy skies here and there, but mainly we will have a lot of cloud coverage. Our high for tomorrow is 78 and a low of 57. Thursday you can take a break from those clouds with mainly sunny skies with a high of 85 and a low of 54. All right, and let's take a look at our weekend. Saturday, we do have a um, lower chance of rain, but it is still there and partly cloudy skies with a high of 74 and a low of 48. Sunday, that chance of precipitation jumps up to a 59, close to the 60s. 
and a high of 62 and a low of 45. We have a mix of clouds and rain showers throughout the day on Sunday with winds to 7 to 8 miles per hour. Sunrise for both days will be around 635. All right, everybody. And as always, we thank you so much for joining us here at BTW 21 Weather. I'm your weather forecaster, Grace Webster, and we thank you so much for joining us. We will see you again here tomorrow at BTW 21. Hi, Barry Nelson at GR Chevrolet in Stanley Town, the pavement king. We got a 2016 Soul, only $169 a month. You could roll in a Soul, that baby only has 50,000 miles. We got a 2020 Chevy Spark, Get some great gas mileage, gas zipper. Only $187 a month. That's a deal. Got a little SUV. A 2019 Chevy Trax. Got a great buy on it. Only $199 a month. That's a deal. You want a four door car with 36 miles a gallon? We got a 22 Malibu. Only $279 a month. And great looking car. The payments keep rolling. We got a 2017 Equinox Premier. All wheel drive, only 60,000 miles, only $255 a month here at GR Chevrolet, where the payments keep rolling. Come see us where everybody knows cars cost less. Welcome to Zimmar Chiropractic, your solution to a pain free life. With our specialized chiropractic adjustments, we target back and neck injuries, offering tailored treatments for your specific needs. Conveniently located at 3652 Virginia Avenue. Our advanced facility includes in-house x-ray machines and skilled massage therapists. Call us now at 276-647-5555 to take the first step towards a healthier and more comfortable you. Zimmer Chiropractic, your path to wellness starts here. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us for BTW 21 News. Now we're going to turn it over to Christian Hall to take a look at sports in our area. Another good day. Uh, no strikeouts at the plate, so that's always good. You play seven innings, you don't have a single strikeout. Um, I think the score would have been a lot different if a couple of those balls fall, but 6-3 and a win, we're happy with it. Yes, sir, let's go! This week we have another game on the road against um, GW. That'll be Wednesday, and then Moorhead Thursday at Hooker, and that'll be a big one. They're undefeated. We're looking to be undefeated going into that game, so it's going to be a huge one. Um, just doing what we've been doing. Keep hitting the ball, keep hitting the ball hard. Um, and just, we got to do a little bit better job closing it out with our um, other pitchers. Our secondary pitches weren't here tonight, and I think that's why they hit the baseball a little bit. So, yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's awesome. We, we know we have probably six guys that we can throw out there and beat just about any team. So it's a lot of fun having those guys available. Boyce Holland Veterinary Services since January 1st, 1982. Celebrating 42 years of caring for your furry friends. In 2024, we're overjoyed to mark our 42nd anniversary in the veterinary business, a journey filled with countless wagging tails, 
We extend our heartfelt thanks to every pet parent who has chosen us over the years. Your loyalty and trust have been the cornerstones of our success. From adorable puppies and kittens to wise seniors, each furry friend has become a cherished part of our extended family. As we celebrate this significant anniversary, we eagerly look forward to many more years of serving our community and being a trusted partner in the health and happiness of your pets. Thank you for 42 positively wonderful years. Here's to many more tail wagon moments together at Boyce Holland Veterinary Services, Stewart, Virginia. For nearly 30 years, Drake Extrusion offers you the personalized service and flexibility of a custom supplier. With research and development based on two continents, Drake is on the cutting edge of polypropylene fiber technology. We work daily with polymer suppliers to improve existing products and meet the challenge of new end uses. We not only value our products, but we also value our employees. For more information, email us at info at drakeextrusion.com or give us a call at 276-632-0159. Up next in our lineup, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at your crumb report as always made possible by Apex Bell Bonds. <music> Ridgeway charged with possession with intent to sell Schedule 1 or 2 drugs, distribution of Schedule 1 or 2 drugs, obtaining information to avoid arrest impeding investigation, Emma Sue Mullins of Bassett charged with disobe disobedience, resistance of an officer of the court, etc., petty larceny, less than $500, not from a person. Jose Becerra Salas of Axton, charged with distribution of Schedule I or II drugs. Stacy Fontaine of Bassett, charged with intoxication in public. Brandon Hale of Martinsville, charged with probation violation. Possession of Schedule I or II drugs. Possession with intent to sell Schedule I or II drugs. Rexford Keene of Martinsville, charged with DWI, first offense, blood alcohol content, content less than 20.20%. Randy Lar Largen of Martinsville, charged with first degree murder, burglary, entering house to commit larceny, A and B, etc. Richard Harrison of Martinsville, charged with DWI, second offense within five years. DWI refusal of breath test, driving without license. Clifton Woody of Martinsville charged with intoxication in public. Belinda Cassell of Martinsville charged with failure to appear, fel felony or misdemeanor. <laughs> If you slip up, you need a bondsman you can trust at your side. At Apex Bail Bonds in Martinsville, our agents are with you at every step, not just the day you bond out. Need affordable bail? You'll get the same low rates we offer in Danville and Reedsville. Apex Bail Bonds has the only bail bondsman around licensed on both sides of the Virginia-Carolina line. Provides fast releases and affordable bail at the lowest rates allowed by law. Apex Bail Bonds, Martinsville, across from Checkered Pig, for the lowest rates allowed. Hi, I'm Simone Red, President and CEO of Martinsville First Savings Bank. We would like for you all to come in and see us, see what products that we have and what we can do to serve you. And we like your business. We're a part of this community and we love our community. Martinsville First Savings Bank is located at 25 West Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. And our phone number is 276-638-8771.
Whether it's tax season or car buying time, BVT Finances has you covered. No credit, bad credit, no problem. Let PVT Incorporated make this tax season your smoothest ride yet. Get rolling with PVT. Call 276-673-2373 or visit 4264 Appalachian Drive in Fieldville. Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards and I'm the owner of Riverside Tire Service. At Riverside Tire Service, we have been a staple in this community for over 40 years as your premier Michelin tire dealer. Now with that relationship with Michelin for over 40 years, we can pass on savings to you that no one else can compare to. We have over $50,000 worth of Michelin in stock ready to fit your vehicle. If we don't have it, we also receive two deliveries a day so we can get you rolling in a timely manner. And next, the obituary report by Bassett Funeral Service. Carl Jean Thompson Duncan, 92 of Martinsville, Virginia, passed away Sunday, April the 14th, 2024. A graveside service will be held Wednesday, April the 17th at 2 p.m. at Mountain View Cemetery in Ridgeway, Virginia. North Funeral Service is serving that family. Online condolences may be made by visiting NorthFuneral.com. John Leslie Glisson, a 69 of Martinsville, Virginia, passed away Saturday, April the 13th, 2024. A memorial service will be held at 11 a.m. Saturday, April the 20th, 2024. A celebration of life will be at Hugo's in Uptown Martinsville at 2 p.m. Noise Funeral Service is serving that family. Mary Alice Clements, 66, of Martinsville, Virginia, passed away Sunday, April the 14th, 2024. The memorial service will be held Thursday, April the 18th at 1 p.m. at Wright Funeral Service Chapel. Visitation will be held 30 minutes prior to that service. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Robert Anderson Mullins, 76, of Martinsville, Virginia, passed away Thursday, April 11, 2024. All services are private. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Online condolences may be made by visiting WrightFuneralServices.net. On June 2nd of this year, we will celebrate our 25th year of serving Martinsville and Henry County. 25 years ago, we started as a small funeral home. Then in 2008, we became one of the largest funeral homes serving Martinsville and Henry County. This spring, Bassett Funeral Service purchased some new property for our new crematory, and also we'll be expanding our services into that building. We pride ourselves in our service. As in the beginning, uh, Bassett Funeral Service started at zero. And over the few years, we have become one of the leading funeral homes in the area. And I think that is because we are providing a tremendous service to our families. A broken or cracked windshield can ruin a day. At Daniel's Auto Glass, it's our goal to make that unfortunate scenario as painless as possible. We have been servicing Franklin County and the surrounding area since 1995. Our customers are our neighbors and we want you to know that you have the choice who repairs or replaces your windshield. And if you can't come out to us, we can come out to you. We also offer window tinting and we are fully equipped and certified to reset all camera systems in any windshield, both in shop and with our mobile unit. Greetings, I am Quentin Walton, Director of Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, licensed in North Carolina and Virginia. Our staff is committed to serve you continuously. Service for all within the means of all is our goal for the community. We have a professional staff qualified to serve you and your family to help you gain knowledge, especially in pre-need borough planning, insurance strategies to promote wealth for you and your family. Having 29 years of excellent service, the establishment is now serving two locations. 
Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, 219 Dillard School Drive, Yanceyville, North Carolina. Phone 336-694-4881. And Fulton Walton Memorial Chapel, 417 Price Street, Eden, North Carolina. Phone 336-627-3300. Website, www.FultonWaltonFuneralHome.com. Allow us, the Fulton Walton Funeral Home staff, to help you and your family in your time of bereavement. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. Do you need a tractor and loader, backhoe, excavator, compact track loader, or implements? Well, Freel Equipment has it. Freel Equipment can deliver to Roanoke, Bedford, Franklin, Henry County, and surrounding areas. Freel Equipment offers services to contractors, homeowners, farmers, quality equipment at affordable pricing. So give Freel Equipment a call at 540-420-3475. Are you looking for a big southern breakfast or home-cooked meats and vegetables? Come join us at the Sirloin House, where we have a breakfast buffet seven days a week and a lunch buffet Sunday through Friday. We've been serving this community since 2001 at 207 South Van Buren Road, Eden, North Carolina. Enjoy the buffet for only $10.49. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina, and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carry-out or catering needs. So that's going to do it here for my time on this Tuesday edition of our newscast. As always, we thank you so very much for taking part of your day and spending it with us as we keep you updated with the latest. Again, folks, as we continue to talk about the top story, Mr. Kenneth Way Turner, who is missing in the field area, you are once again reminded not to self-deployed. Do not think that you can go and volunteer, but definitely continue to keep that family in your prayers and share the post um, that we have shared on our social medias and websites so that we can be able to get the word out to as many individuals as possible. We'll see you tomorrow. Chopsticks, Martinsville's largest, nicest restaurant, serving hibachi, sushi, Chinese, and Asian cuisine. Daily lunch special starting out at $7.49 to $11.25 every day. Drink specials and mouth-watering entrees at Chopsticks in Martinsville. Don't forget about our sushi specials every Monday and Thursday. Dine in or carry out at 632-8898. Chopsticks, located across from Baymont Inn. New College Institute is a premier educational facility for students, businesses, and the community at large. Expand your career opportunities by getting certifications in advanced manufacturing, technology, healthcare industries, and much more. NCI now offers GWO certified training in one of the fastest growing industries, wind energy. You can also earn your degree from one of our partner Virginia universities, all while staying close to home. Get started today and let New College Institute help you achieve your goals. At Sova Family Medicine Martinsville, our providers, along with their compassionate team, are ready to provide your entire family ages 2 and older with preventative and sick care. There are many services provided such as hypertension, acute illnesses and injuries, annual, school and sport physicals, diabetes and chronic medical conditions, and so much more. We are now accepting new patients. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sober Family Medicine of Martinsville is located at 110 Commonwealth Boulevard West, Martinsville, Virginia. You can call at 276-666-7328 or visit soberphysicians.com slash primary care for more information. Embark on a flavor-filled journey at El Palmar Mexican Grill, indulge in authentic Mexican street food, Tex-Mex, and mouth-watering American classics, all at irresistible prices. Dive into delights like shrimp tacos, birria tacos, hot wings and fries, quesabirria, gran burritos, and beyond. 
Quench your thirst by refreshing our chata and jamaica. Why wait? Give them a ring at 276-806-4877 and experience a culinary adventure from Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m.